welcome to my Mark Kistler YouTube live drawing channel. This is our uh, 30 day drawing challenge. Let me get this camera turned on so I can wave to you out there. Let's see here. Hey, there we go. All right. Hi, everybody. Now, it doesn't matter if this is your first day or this is your 21st day beginning the 30 day drawing challenge. Whenever you start, that's when your challenge takes uh, starts up. I'm proud of you for uh, taking the challenge. I think it's going to amaze you what happens after 30 days of drawing. Your imagination, your inspiration, your creativity is just going to just going to just going to take off. So, let's get right down to it. Look at check it out. We're going to draw a tree today. You see this tree right here? This is from my book. You can draw in 30 days. Here, let me uh, let me turn this camera off and I'll switch it around and we'll get right into our tree with roots. This is a really, really great lesson inspired from my You Can Draw in 30 Days book. Now take a look at this advanced tree right here. Now this tree, we I'm using the drawing direction compass, which I talk about quite often. In fact, some of you um, kids at heart, some of you older adults, kids at heart might remember me talking about these drawing directions when I started in the show The Secret City. This is an old 30 year old little book from the show. Isn't that funny? One of the few things I have left from that uh, series. You might remember me as uh, Commander Mark on The Secret City talking about drawing directions. These are the four most common positions that artists use when they uh, draw an uh, object or a character or an environment. They use these. So for example, you can see the directions of these pencils, okay? I talk more about this when, uh, uh, now I'm just seeing, I think I have a, a technical difficulty here. It looks, I don't know if I'm live right now, guys. I think I might have to start this one over again. Let's see, it looks like it's not, uh, it's not going. If it if it's going, let me see here. I'm sorry, everybody. It looks like that it's not it's not webcasting. So let me see here. Let's see here. Um, I am going to have to start this again. Sorry, everybody. For some reason, there's a there seems to be a technical snafu. Sorry about that. Well, greetings. Hello, hello. I am so glad that you are joining me. Hear me put the camera on. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Mark Kistler Live on YouTube. This is my uh, daily drawing challenge. It's a 30-day drawing challenge, and I want you to consider taking this challenge. It doesn't matter if it's your first day or your 21st day or just maybe you're just taking a peek at a drawing lesson to see if you want to take me up on the challenge. It's my goal to... Uh, show you what's going to happen with your imagination, your creativity, your inspiration. If you just try 15 minutes a day drawing one doodle a day, one sketch a day, you can join me, you can draw with me every day on YouTube or do it yourself in your own drawing journal, okay? Your imagination is going to take off. It's going to be it's going to be incredible. Today, check it out. We're going to draw a, a tree with roots. and We're not going to draw one that quite that advanced, but let me turn off the camera. Let's get right down into it. Uh, get your paper and your pencil ready. I would uh, love you to have a drawing journal with a spiral binding for your 30-day drawing challenge. Have your pencil handy, have a little eraser, a blending stomp, and a little brush. And I'll tell you more about your little kit you can have. Now, if all you want to use is just any pencil and any piece of paper, that's fine. You don't have to have any fancy tools, okay? Well, let's take a look at this. This lesson right here is inspired from my book, You Can Draw in 30 Days. Oh, there's my advertising plug for my drawing book. Thank you for buying my books. I appreciate it. Hey, get 10, 10 books gift-giving season, right? Give the gift of creativity. 
Now, this this lesson right here is uh, trees, uh, page 163, and I love uh, drawing the texture and drawing the clumps. We're going to draw that tree right there. And as we do it, we're going to be using what I call the drawing direction compass. Now, you might remember me talking about this drawing direction compass in uh, times past, in lessons past. This right here is available to all my students, registered students at my markkisserlive.com. Uh, website. These are the four positions that artists use when they're creating objects or characters in the environment. You can see the example of, of how these positions apply to the objects. You help position them and make them look 3D. For all of you kids at heart, all you old timers out there like me, you might remember uh, my show called the, <laughs> the Secret City. Was I ever that young, right? I used to talk about the drawing directions, positions 1, 7, and 9 uh, a lot. Well, let's uh, let's go ahead. Let's go back to I just lost my tree page, but I want to follow the directions in here. It's a fun, um, a fun example, and let's start. You have your piece of paper here, and let's do our 15-minute drawing challenge. One drawing a day, 30 days. I'm so proud of you for taking the challenge. All right. Well, let's start. Let's start right here. Um, I'm going to draw the the tree. Uh, the tree trunk is going to taper down okay two vertical lines these are parallel and they taper out just a bit and then right here what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna go straight across I'm gonna curve the bottom this is called contour curve the bottom right here alright now comes the important part of, of positioning the trunk the the root so I'm gonna draw a light line slanted uphill in direction this comes down in direction southwest it goes up in direction north east remember we're going to use these drawing directions this is a regular compass and if we took this flat compass and if we if we foreshortened it if we if we made it lie you know lie down it would be be look like this right here okay it would be a, a, a disc and then those same positions would apply all right just a handy reference tool so let's right up the bottom here let's draw another light line coming down here right through here it doesn't really matter we're just going to use this as a guideline it doesn't matter really where it's placed as long as you get the the roots we want the roots to splay out on the paper take your hand and put your hand right on the right on the paper and take your uh, wrist and have it come straight down this is what we want to do we're going to have the roots splay out around here and use those drawing directions to help us make them look 3D. All right, so let's take this and let's take the first root about right here and follow this guideline right there. That'll be our first root in direction southwest. All right, now let's draw this root. Let's start about the same. It can be taller, shorter. I like making everything a little bit different. So let's draw this one, taper it down and have it come out here in direction. That See, look at this one shorter. That's okay. In direction uh, south east let's do that now way back here this route this route back here look at this it's gonna be a little bit shorter and it goes up in direction northeast Isn't that fun see that look at how, how easy this is Isn't that cool and that great so it's just a neat way to make the roots look like they're just spreading out across the ground in 3d all right well then let's draw uh, this back route right here this one coming up again in direction northwest all right so then I'll take I'll clean up my extra line take my eraser there's so many different types of erasers there's your kneaded eraser I have my gummy eraser I have so many different erasers this is I have an eraser bag that's all crumbly it's wonderful but I just I like the simplicity of this click eraser for when I'm traveling when I'm drawing on airplanes or drawing uh, at coffee shops it's so easy to have a little kit. I have a little kit where I have to throw everything into a little bag, my sketchbook and all this. All right, now, this is, that's a great way to spread your, to spread the roots. Now, I wanna put, for the top of the tree here, I'm gonna uh, branch it out. I'm gonna branch this guy out. I'm gonna just put uh, maybe three branches. So here's the, the roots, here's the trunk coming up, and then the branches, I'm gonna have them kind of uh, taper out a little bit thinner here put some wrinkles see this put some wrinkles taper it out there's there's one and then back here look at it maybe I'll just put one little little tiny one maybe there's three maybe there's three little tree branches not that fun 
Oh, I, I want to ask you to give me a happy face, sad face, but on this platform, on YouTube Live, you guys, I can't see your live comments until after the, the YouTube lesson, and I can't see your reactions. Oh, but I do love these. I love the technology in YouTube Live. If you're interested in taking my uh, uh, Mighty Mark Mondays, we have a full hour lesson on uh, Mondays. And here, let me show you a couple examples of these hour lessons. This is... Uh, this is a cool tree that we drew on on Monday, just just a few days ago. This was an hour long lesson: monkeys and penguins in a tree. This was at my my eleven fifteen class, my uh, ten o'clock classes, my ten o'clock classes for eight years and younger. This is for more intermediate and advanced class. And it's an hour-long class on Mondays. If these 15 minutes whet your, ap whet your appetite to draw more, look at these are hour-long lessons. This is at markkisslerlive.com. We we webcast at nine o'clock, or excuse me, 10 o'clock Texas time, then 11:15 for intermediate advance, then two o'clock, then 3:15. Aren't these wonderful? These are hour-long lessons. So if these 15-minute lessons uh, appeal to you and you are interested in drawing some more um, go to marcuslive.com and sign up now here's the difference the difference between the two of my YouTube live and my Mark Kistler live is the the live let's put a clump here I'm gonna put a big clump right here I'm gonna put a big clump right here and then back behind I'll put another clump back back over there we're gonna have three clumps maybe I'll have then another clump back here and another clump I'm just gonna sketch it in isn't that cool? Maybe I'll push a clump out here, and then I'll push another clump out here. Isn't that fun? See what I did? I just blocked it in. Now, the difference between my uh, YouTube Live and my Mark Kistler Monday Live is that I can split the screen with the students from around the world, from Russia and China and, and South America and South Africa. The kids come on and show me your drawings, and I'm over here looking at your drawings. It's so cool. And then all the students can send me emotional icons, happy face, sad face, medium face. All the students can send me live text over here. And there's a big map where everybody's drawing. I just love it. And I can't encourage you enough to consider drawing Mighty Mark Mondays in part of your art curriculum. All right, I'm going to make this clump of leaves right here closer. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go like this and draw the clump. See this? I'm using texture. I'm going left and right. This is called planned randomness. Okay, a little darkness under here. Let's clean up the extra lines so that we'll make this one pop out. Remember when we drew that YouTube one with all the dinosaur necks, and they were we had to sketch a whole bunch, a whole mess of them. Then we erased one that was closer. Then we drew it and defined it, and then we drew another one. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to define this one will be the next closest. It's going to be a big poofy ball of cotton. Think of cotton or big, soft, poofy, puffy, puffy leaves. So I'll put the texture, planned randomness, some left, some right. Now, if you are interested in Mark Kistler Live Mondays, Mighty Mark Mondays, woo, uh, go to markkistlerlive.com and click sign up. It tells you all about it. So, so cool. Hey, after you finish this tree lesson, will you post it on Facebook, would you? I would love to see it. Make sure you friend me on Facebook, okay? Now, if you friend me, look for these three birds in the background because there's a lot of different Mark Kistlers on the uh, uh, web, on the <laughs> Facebook. I was surprised, too. So look for the photograph of me. It won't be this clay guy. And then look for these, pic these birds behind me. Friend me and post your picture. Make sure you type my name into your posting so it pops up on my wall so I can share it with the world. And I would love to say I'm going to put this clump behind here. Now, if I go too fast, no problem. Watch the recording and then push pause and rewind, okay? I'm going to go kind of fast on this one. And oh, this is so cool. I love it. I love it. I love it. Look at the variation here on this one. This was one of my uh, lessons on uh, on my Marcus Alive. Look at the tree trunks. Look at the monkeys. Look at all those monkeys. In there. Isn't that cool? Don't you love it? I love it, love it, love it. Here's a variation of a tree. Look at this. Look at this variation. This was a, a pop-up paper art from Rebecca DeGroote's pop-up class. You can see these at markkistalive.com. Look at, see how it opens up. See how it pops up. See, it's a flat card. I went outside the box. I went outside the card 
but look at that variation see the tree behind there with all the knot holes and the and the grain you guys can do something like that always think how can you take the take the lesson add your own ideas add your own ideas and have have your imagination just take off because you're geniuses I'm so proud of you guys I'm so proud you're taking me up on this 30-day drawing challenge because you guys are full-on art animals you guys are you have pencil power pencil power I love my pa paper puppets all right so let's put the little shading under here okay now we're starting to shade I'm going to use a little uh, scribble technique. You could, if you want, draw every single leaf, but I'm not going to do that because I'm trying to keep these to little 15-minute drawing video vignettes on YouTube. Make sure you post them. I want you to draw 30 days with me, okay? Draw th one drawing a day for 30 days. Keep it quick and simple. Put a shadow back behind here. Let me zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. Put a little shadow, dark. I love the dot under shadow that dark under shadow isn't that cool and then we'll blend it then I'll scribble the shade I'm having the Sun come from this direction up here see the Sun's coming from up here so I'll tuck a little bit of shadows this is just scribble shade remember you could do this you could put every single tiny little leaf down here that's if you want to put some wrinkles look at this I'm gonna put some wrinkles down here now along the ground watch this I'm gonna put some texture put some grass see this put some grass along the bottom here and then the shadow watch this I'm gonna put a little shadow a little shadow cast onto the ground here and we'll blend that in just a second a little shadow cast onto the you can clean this up later I just want you to get the you get look at this isn't that fun Look at this, get it all bumpy, put some grass. You could put, oh, what if you put someone in here like taking a nap? What if you put someone in here and all you see is like their feet coming out here and someone was taking a nap back here? That would be a fun addition, wouldn't it? Little, little, someone's just, <laughs> see that? There's your nose and your hands on your stomach here and you're just sleeping and you're just, yeah, oh, look at that, fine. Maybe maybe you're like a little elf and your feet kind of kind of droop down here. Ha! You could you could put all kinds of extras. Put the grass, little shadow here, little shadow. Oh, this is fun. All right, let's blend this. You can put some wood grain on here to help you shade it. And there's our good start for our tree now remember this is in my book you can draw in 30 days go on get yourself a copy or order one on at amazon.com here's some other variations and some other books of mine with the the drawing lesson the imagination station look at this variation here this one is uh, terrific tree town this is on page 91 that's a great variation and then here's a variation of uh, take the YouTube challenge are you ready Look at, I have these little cards here. Look, I'll send you these. Look at that. Are you ready? Are you ready for the 30-day challenge? Are you ready? Are you ready? Look at this one right here. This is the Forest of Freedom. And uh, I had one more I was going to show you here. Where's that tree? Oh, look at that. I pulled the card out and I lost it. There was another one. Well, I'll show you this one. Okay, well, here's the drawing in 3D. These are all on Amazon.com. Thanks for buying my books. I appreciate it so much. I appreciate your support. And also, I appreciate you buying my art from my art gallery. Thank you. Thank you so much for helping me make my dream come true. My dream quest of getting one million artists to draw with me every day on my YouTube channel. I really appreciate that. So subscribe to my YouTube channel and please share this video with your friends here. Let's use your stompy and let's get the put the shadow back here. You don't have to be exact precise. You can be loose and sketchy and comfortable. And just enjoy it. Enjoy the drawing challenge. Enjoy the process. Alright, if you want to get a um, one of my free um, art cards 
I would love to send you one. One per family, please. Only one per family. If you have a lot of people in your family, no problem. No problem. I'll put your names on the back. I'll sign it. Send me a self-addressed stamp envelope. Send me a drawing. If you'd like to purchase a handful, get a collection going, I thank you so much for your support. Please consider uh, purchasing five or ten of those. I would appreciate it. The way I tell you, way you do it is you click that contact tab at the top of my website markkistler.com and it gives you all the instructions on how to get a free card I would love to send you one you have to send me a drawing and also if you want to get a few more to support my endeavor I totally totally appreciate it. well there's your look at that I'm gonna put a, I can't stop I can't stop well there's your tree with the roots in the different directions I hope you enjoy this half as much as fun as I did half as much fun as I had I hope you enjoyed it and man I just can't stop I just love to draw 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 well there you go send me a self address now develop send me a drawing subscribe to my YouTube channel share my link with your friends and uh, thanks for drawing with me guys hey I can't wait tomorrow I'm going to the uh, my elementary school assembly here in Houston, Texas. Thanks for inviting me to your school. I love doing my live drawing assemblies. It's gonna be so much fun. All right, well let me let's uh, let's move this around. Let me click my camera so I can say farewell. Ah, there we go. You guys did great. Look what we did. Look at that drawing. That was awesome. That was an awesome 16 minutes. Uh, dream it, draw it, do it. Stay in an amazing positive attitude. Get your imagination to take off. One drawing a day for 30 days. Bye, everybody. I'll see you on the next drawing lesson.